Hey, what's up guys, Johnny here back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, we'll look at the Faraday Accelerator. I had this thing for a while. I didn't play it that much because I didn't like the fact that it doesn't have that much ammo in the magazine. It only has 20. It's lower than Ambra. And Ambra was pretty much a meme uh, calling it Project Reload because you're always reloading. So it's not that great for PvE. But Faraday Accelerator, people really love it. The good PvP players use that thing a lot. Because it has more damage, so it kills faster. The fire rate is a bit lower, 400 instead of 440. But the damage, 132 on Nico, 158.4 on Faraday. So we're going to try this thing today. Uh, we're going to do some duels. But playing Faraday Accelerator requires you to uh, play around the fact that it doesn't have much ammo. So you're going to look for increased mag on your pants or on your skill tree. I'm trying a different build today, 569, uh, it comes from Insulin, Maisie wrote a great article on uh, the best PvP builds, and this one is called the Faraday Survival Build, because you still have the 9 survival, but you're gonna play 6 in combat to have access to that magazine max out, 20% extra ammo, so that's plus 4 in the clip for Faraday. But the downside is you're gonna lose on the agility, you only have 5 points of agility, what that means is you're losing reload while sprinting. It's really bad in PvE, but in PvP, I guess it shouldn't be that much of a problem. Six in combats means you have the extra 15% accuracy and something I rarely use, Sparta Kick, 50% activation chance at max level. So that's great synergy because with Faraday, you wanna fight from a closer range than Nico maybe because the accuracy is not great, but you have Sparta Kick for extra close situations. Now, of course, you're going to have to make a decision. If you want all the agility, you're going to have to lose on the survivability. But in PvP, you really like projectile resistance and explosion resistance because rocket launchers and grenades had many situations lately where I survived rocket launchers and my opponent died because of it. I'm going to grab some buffs and we are ready to go. All right, first game of the day, one up, top AHK, something like that. I'm going to go straight for the bucks again on that map. Because I heard the map is too big to rush the opponent's pawn, so he's going for his bucks, right? No, he went left. Ignoring his bucks. So if we get the first kill, we run for the buck. SMG. I, I mean... At the start of the fight, I wanted to run for the... I like, go for the headshots, but I want to try to get the wins. I mean, I'm not so used to this weapon yet, so... And I fought on the other end of the map. I still want to grab the ammo so we can just deny it. He's using an SMG, so we might want to try to keep the guy in range right oof i didn't see the number we'll check on the replay i guess but yeah against smgs of course they got faster fire rate so i guess you wanna not be too close but still this thing's not Yeah, bring that thing. I died on that, so... No freaking way. Uh, is it? It is a trade. Alright, I, I wasn't sure. Wow. But this thing, man, the range is... Kind of short, dude. Like from with Nico, with Nico, I would have sniped from that range. I would have tried to get a couple hits. But with Faraday, it feels like he's not getting there. I don't know. I need to play more for sure. But good first game. Gonna take a lot of time to get used to a different weapon, right? I mean, the accuracy and the range. Another game is the same guy. Yeah, One this. up top, AHK. But it's a different map now. 
He's probably still with the SMG because he just queued like right after. And this map, uh, it's tough to keep your opponent in. Look at that, man. Alright, 21 the hit. And I'm gonna run for the ammo just to. I don't think he's gonna use it, but still, don't wanna give him a chance. So closer range, I did get lucky, I guess. Hit a couple shots from close range. Because from long range, I miss more shots, right? Oof. Another one. Four to one. Couple hits in the back. No. All right, cannot lose that one. Ah, what do we have here? Killing spree and rank climber. I want a different opponent though. All right, another one, and it's George XD. And three duels, three different maps today. To get my hands dirty. Don't know if it was a good thing to go for the box. Oof. Wow, dude, he really surprised me. I turned around, he was already there. Let's go for the other box. But I got a crit right of the bat, probably at the head. See, the long range is crazy bad. Yeah, he got, he got me good on that one. Headshot. But I guess you gotta be closer with that weapon. Bring it on. Good. Yeah. Oh, that nade, man. Yee, that was close. And I'm lagging now. I, I should have run because I had the worst of it and I used my deflector first so when I used deflector I should have just leave not stay in front of the guy because he, he just had to wait and bro I'm missing all my hits that was very bad having a tough time let's rock And he gets the first hits all the time, so. Bruh, come on, dude. That was a trade. Four to four. Next kill wins the game. This is a bit stressful. Yes! Hot streak. I don't know what skill he had, but I did use the EMP at the end. Just didn't want to take a chance. But close range, face to face, AR versus AR. I guess Faraday. Faraday hits pretty hard. Uh, the guy invited me. Said, "I uh, hey bro, I'm yourself." GG man. If you're watching this video, good game, bro. Really good game. So, anyways, that was the Faraday Accelerator. It was my first PVP action with it. And so far, 
first impression is I would I know I need to play more to get really used to it but first impression it feels from long range I really like Nico better but I, Nico has better range better accuracy and yeah from long range even aiming down sight I felt like my shots didn't hit that much now about the magazine cap I know a lot of guys say low mag is a problem but the good players they say if you have good aim it's not gonna be a problem because you're gonna kill your target before you have to reload and i believe it but like it's it's a problem for me because in the three duels i just played there's many occasions where i was in a fight and i had to reload during the fight and uh it could be a problem versus better players of course now overall i still prefer nico but again i played a lot with nico i'm used to the accuracy the range and stuff faraday you need to adjust i guess different play styles and i understand why the good players like the faraday that much so leave me a comment below are you a faraday guy or are you a nico guy thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed the action leave a like if you did don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more shadow gun legends news gameplay and guides i will be back soon so then watch my other videos take care